Okay, thank you for joining us for our WSUS series wrap up. Uh, I just wanted to cover a few points and share some thoughts as I finished up the tutorial. Some things that might be beneficial for you if you've never used WSUS before in a production environment. The first thing that I have to say is be patient. Um, WSUS is designed to not saturate your network bandwidth when deploying these updates. This can be a little bit frustrating if you're trying to do testing, if you're doing something in a lab and you're looking for an immediate result. There are some VB scripts out there that can force updates down and force installation, but they're a little bit out of the scope for this tutorial. Just remember, be patient if you're testing in a lab. You know, work on it. Don't fire yourself out. Set your schedules so you, you know when your systems will download and install updates. Maybe it'll be at night. Come in the next morning and look at the results, view the logs. Just remember the requirements that we had. We did install IIS with some extra settings and the application server role. You don't actually need Active Directory for WSUS. You can go through and you can manually edit group policy on every single system to point to a standalone server, but Active Directory really does help. Um, I could not imagine doing this uh, without Active Directory. It would be very labor intensive. Just a couple other little things. You may want to check out the views. Um, you see I've created views for my updates here. For example, I want to know what systems um, are, what service packs and option packs need to be installed just for Windows 7. So I created a little view. Same thing here with Windows Server 2008 and Server 2008 R2. You see I have a bunch of things in Server 2008 R2 that I need to approve. You can create these views just right over on the right side, um, new update view, or uh, actually maybe yeah, view, yep, just new update view right here. Remember, when you are working with group policy, make sure that your server groups and your group policies match up when you want to do your client side targeting. If you recall, I used Windows 7 Workstation for my group name in the tutorial, and this is the server. It's waiting on uh, an update or two to finish installing there. So um, kind of look at these things. Also the reporting features in here are pretty nice. If you do uh, computer status summary, you can get a pretty decent report. If you have any sort of compliance issues where you need to um, prove that your systems are updating for HIPAA compliance or SOX, these reports are actually not too bad out of the box. Um, these just come default with the WSUS server and um, these would probably be acceptable. I've dealt with KPMG and Deloitte and & Touche and I think they would probably accept these. Um, just remember this is a free product from Microsoft. Uh, it, is a, it is a very feature rich uh, product. I do have to say it's, it's quite nice and um, definitely use it if you're on a budget. You can set up a virtual machine. It's not very processor intensive. You do just need a bit of disk space, things like that. So. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, if you if you do need to do some troubleshooting, if you're not sure if the WSUS server is working for you, you can take a look in your Windows Update uh, option, the Control Panel, and you should see this managed by your system administrator. You can also still use the View Update History; it'll tell you the options that um, successfully installed or failed. So you have that as a resource. Now, if you want to get and dig a little deeper, if you do have some problems, and I will say, um, I did experience a problem on my workstation, though um, it was more, I believe, caused by a problem with the imaging. Uh, there was a problem with the DCOM service, with, which WSUS does rely on, and so it caused a problem with updating. But uh, I don't believe this was actually due to the WSUS servers. I, I believe it was due to my the type of imaging I was using. But if you want to check and make sure that the group policy that you applied is actually in effect on your system, there is a command line option and it is called GP result. It just stands for group policy result. And we'll talk more about this in uh, Active Directory tutorial, but you can run it. You can see that it'll spit out a list. And here, applied group policy objects. See how mine here says WSUS server? So you can be confident that the group policy that you developed and applied in the group policy management console is actually being in effect here. So that's one thing that you can do. 
There's a couple other things as well. Um, if you need to look for the log if you're trying to troubleshoot, the Windows Update log is just in the C Windows and Windows Update log. That's where it's at, and you can see here there's a bunch of information. It's a bunch of different codes based on successes and failures. And you know what? Google is really your friend when trying to diagnose these codes. Also, if you want to try to diagnose the actual IIS server itself, you can go to the C drive, and INET pub is where IIS stores all of its stuff. And you can see the logs here, log files, and then you'll have the W3S, um, WC1 folder. And these are all log files for IIS. This is pretty big. And you can look and make sure that your client is connecting um, to the web server. These, again, these are pretty, pretty large log files, so they can take some time. But um, other than that, if you, let's say you want to change some of your groups in your WSUS server, you can use a couple commands to, if you have to delete a system from out of your uh, WSUS environment, you can do WU. A U C L T and that just stands for Windows Update Automatic Update Client and then you can use a switch that says detect now and what this will do is this will actually take the client and it will tell it to go and query the WSUS server to see if there are any new updates in addition to that you can do um, that same command W U A U C L T and do reset authorization and you can if you had to delete this system out of your WSUS uh, structure this would force the computer to re-register with that WSUS environment so I hope that you've got a lot of value out of this series of tutorials hopefully it will be the first of many more to come please do drop us a line. Tell us what you did like and what you didn't like so that we can improve the quality of the tutorials in the future. Have a great day, and thanks again for watching this series of tutorials.